Good morning, YouTube. How you guys doing? Jake Naturally here, bringing you an H1, Z1, Z2 uh, gameplay. Now, this ain't going to be a live commentary, but it's going to be a commentary nonetheless. Uh, just wanted to go into the depth a little bit about uh, the things that I've noticed since the patch. Uh, one of the few things that uh, I remember they said that they fixed was the reload glitch. And, I mean, I have it every now and then. I mean, it's nowhere near as prevalent as when... Uh, the reason why I didn't want to run the AK for the longest time was, simply put, the, the AK wasn't reliable when it came to reloading. I mean, it had really good damage. I mean, it's not as accurate as, let's say, the AR-15, but I'm willing to trade off that damage for a little bit less accuracy. But that's just me. And so the reason why I didn't run the AR, uh, the, the AK, uh, right off the bat was because, man, the, it, it was almost like I had to run two AKs just because I didn't want to get into a situation, especially first start, starting out whenever I wasn't the best shot. I mean, I'm still not the best shot by no means, but, uh, whenever I was first starting out, it, it would be nothing for me to use a whole clip and still would have to reload just to kill one person so whenever it came down to like let's say um uh, a 1v1 gun battle normally whatever i, I ran was probably if I, if I remember correctly i think i ran if i ran an ak it would be two ak's and a shotgun or two ak's and a magnum i really didn't mess with the grenades that much at that point right now my go-to setup is uh AK shotgun grenade, but uh, that's that's just what I run in solos right now. But yeah, I mean, I, I haven't noticed uh, the AK glitch or AK reload glitch as mo as much. But I mean, it, it does happen here to there. Like I mean, I played <laughs> I played pretty much all today. Today I was off work, so uh, I wanted to get on and grind and make sure. Uh, I, I didn't lose any gun skill because the best best way to improve at anything is to keep doing it and uh, keep doing it as much as you can. So that's what I did. I put in some hours today, wanted to practice on my shot, wanted to get up in here and get the mindsets that I really need if I really want to get to that royalty uh, standard, that, that royalty rank eventually. And I'm not saying I'm going to get it anytime soon, but I mean, it's, it's always best to practice. So, but. Anyway, just got to the point where the AK wasn't giving me as much problems, so uh, it, it probably happened maybe once. No, it, I'll, I'll say it probably happened three times out of, no joke, uh, probably about 50 games, because I, I played the majority of all today, didn't have much to do, didn't go Black Friday shopping. Uh, ended up did, I, ended up, I, I did go and pick up uh, a game or two from... Uh, from the store, uh, at least check some out. So I did. I did do that. I didn't do much Black Friday shopping. Uh, I plan on doing most of that online uh, with Cyber Monday just around the corner. So yeah, uh, I'm not really a big fan of the crowds. Uh, I'm not gonna bust up in there and fight somebody over a TV or a DVD or anything like that. That's just not me. I mean, I'd, I'd much rather just sit at home. Uh, get on my phone, pull up Amazon.com, and just order all my stuff. Probably get it at a, at a cheaper deal than if I was to go to the mall or Walmart or wherever it is to get said deal. You're most likely going to get better deals at Cyber Monday or whatever it is. So, but yeah, back to the topic of the the recent update. Uh, I was talking to some uh, some of my subscribers actually. I played some doubles today with one of them, and we were discussing the fact that, uh, like, I'm trying to think how to explain it, uh, the objects around, like, I remember going over and reading the patch notes, and uh, it said something along the lines that they were trying to fix uh, not so many clipping objects, like there won't be as many floating objects here and there, or and picking up objects would be easier. Well, I'm, I'm going to combine these two because it's sort of a, uh, a weird thing that I guess, I mean, I don't think they, they planned on this, but I've noticed 
there there are a lot a lot more actually floating objects than normal like we were playing doubles earlier and in the middle of a field was a just a, a floating door just 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 there's no trailer no house random floating door in the air and that was just that was really weird and then uh an, another big thing that's go that goes on around the uh, it goes around uh, around the map is there at the trailer park a lot of the doors will be sitting in front of the the front porch or sitting in front of the back porch and all the objects that's like all the gear that would be inside the trailer is now floating outside the front of the trailer which is really weird i mean you can still pick up all the stuff but it's just floating there in midair and that wasn't uh before the patch i'm i never remember seeing anything like that uh, I, I do know that I haven't seen uh, all today. I didn't run into many people or I, I didn't run into any people uh, teaming in solo. So that's, that's always a plus. Uh, I, I, one thing that I do appreciate a lot is I remember they went in, in depth uh, in the update when they were discussing how they were going to add more vehicles to the outskirts of the map. So if the safe zone is like all the way across the map from you, you can get on like a four wheeler or I've seen four wheelers and I've seen trucks. So I don't, the thing about trucks is they're not the fastest, but they do absorb a lot of damage. And I mean, I really don't see that many people preferring to be in a truck. You'll always see people abandoning the trucks for the Jeeps and the cop cars. So I really don't think the, the trucks that big of an advantage in my opinion. I think it's, it's, uh, I don't, I don't think it's, I think it's barely above. Like, I, I think the, if we're going to go by like the scale of the vehicles, if we're going to go by top tier, top tier is going to be, in my opinion, the cop car followed shortly back by the, uh, the Jeep. And then it's, it's almost like there's, there's three steps dividing that, the, the Jeep from the truck, even though there's no other vehicles there. I mean, it, you have to settle for, a, for a Jeep. Or uh, you have to settle for a truck. Same thing with a, a, a four-wheeler. I mean, a four-wheeler, you can get from A to B uh, hella quick, but you can't really, you don't have much cover. And the thing with a truck is you can get from A to B really slow, but you got, uh, I don't want to say more cover, but the vehicle can take, can take more damage. I, I think I can uh, shoot somebody out of a truck easier than you know, any other vehicle. Uh, maybe that's just my opinion, but... Uh, I, I do appreciate that they added that to the game because I, I did notice, like when I when I would be outside the map that or on the far outskirts, that I was seeing a lot more of those four wheels, a lot more of those jeeps, and that was one of those things that I was really big on was the fact that it, it almost killed the game when you couldn't, like you you spend you can't spend any time looting because you have to run all the way across the map, which sucks. And it, it really doesn't make the game that much fun because you, one, you don't spend much time looting. So you either have one AR with uh, very little ammo or you don't have an AR at all. And so you're, you're trugging along the, the forest or the field. And here you go getting sniped out by somebody that had plenty of time to get geared, had plenty of time to get a vehicle. And so whenever those vehicles are there, uh, mo more than likely what the best bet is, You'll either spend more time looting there, or you can go ahead and just hop out, uh, go ahead and get in the vehicle, and just drive to the safe zone where you can go ahead and uh, go loot there. I mean, it's, it's your pick, but at least you have those options. Before, you didn't have those options. And so when you didn't have those vehicles spawn next to you, you just kind of have to take off running. That was your only chance. So I'm glad they added that uh, to the mix. Now, the hit registration. That was their that was their big thing that they were like, man, we're we're really working on this. And uh I mean, uh let me let me think how to explain it. Uh I know that they said the big thing about the hit registration uh was focused mainly on the shotgun. And I'll say this, I feel like my shotgun is hitting a lot better. Now is it is it perfect? No. Uh but it is a lot better than what it was. Now I'm not sure if it's just from me practicing more with it or if it's just the update but i do feel like that since the update 
I am shooting a little bit better. And like I said, I'm not sure if that's because of the update or because I've been practicing, but uh, normally, I, like I used to freak out and be like, man, I just got four hit markers on this guy with a shotgun. How is that even possible? But uh, I think the most hit markers I got on with a shotgun today was two. And I'm, normally on that second one, I kill them. I mean, of course, unless they have a lammy, but still. I mean, I still freak out a little bit whenever I see somebody with a... Uh, well, I still freak out a little bit whenever like, I, I'll hit marker somebody with a shotgun. To me, that doesn't make any sense. But still, it'll be all right. Um, now, the, the hit registration when it comes to the, the ARs and the AK... Uh, mm, I I don't know how to describe it. I mean, I feel like it's 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 gotten a little bit better. I'm not sure if it uh if it was actually worked on at all, but I feel like I'm hitting more shots. I'm hitting better shots. So that could just be just me getting a little bit better at the game, and that's what I'm hoping at least. But I, I was getting not in this gameplay at least, but uh, the gameplay that I'll probably upload tomorrow. I I got some pretty good headshots. I was I was pretty proud of how I was shooting that game. Uh, the same as uh, some of those games where I was playing with uh, one of our subscribers. And if you would like to play with uh, play some H one Z one with me, uh, just go ahead and leave a comment down below, uh, or you can just add me on Steam. Uh, it's the same name as my YouTube channel, Jake Naturally. Just go ahead and add me there. Just uh, basically leave me a message saying that. Oh, you saw my video and uh, just want to play some some doubles with me or some fives. It don't really matter. But yeah, if you if you'd like to play some H one Z one, just add me on there and uh, I'll gladly play with you. But but yeah, whenever we're playing together with me and that subscriber today, um, I mean that it was it was hit and miss. Like at times I was I was doing very well and he was doing very well, and at times it was just like. Uh, I don't know. It, like we were both saying, man, I feel like our shots should be hitting right here, but uh, it was it was a little bit questionable at times. Like we were both saying that, like I don't I don't know how to describe it. It, it was almost to the point where uh, we would shoot, like the person would be standing still, and we we'd shoot at the same level every time, just slowly making our way up. And then nothing was hitting. But then, like, if we was to make our way back down, some bullets were hitting and some weren't. It was it was a little wishy washy. I'm, I'm not sure if it was just uh, if it was just a hit registration or if we were just really doing that bad right there. I really want to say that it was honestly the the hit registration because it was a little it was a little bit questionable at times. But uh, this gameplay right here, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm not going to say it's, it's the best gameplay I've had. I feel like I was spending most of the game looting, which you'll, I mean, you've obviously seen me do a lot. Uh, I felt like at times, I I don't know, with this game, I just didn't feel comfortable not having more med kits, more, uh, more materials to make uh, body armor, more ammo. I don't know what it was about this game, but I just did not feel... I guess safe, if that makes sense. I was like, man, I gotta have this. I gotta make sure I got this. And no matter what, I just could not find composite fabrics the whole time. Like, uh, I remember one uh, earlier back in the game, I went all the way back to somebody's corpse just to get some composite fabrics because I was that desperate for it. But this game right here, I mean, I, I was, uh, I want to say I was about two, three, maybe three games in for that day when I got this gameplay, and so uh, my shot was definitely uh, warming up. I, I, I don't think it's, I don't think this is the game where I, I was shooting the best all day. Uh, I think the, the best I shot is going to be the gameplay that I'm going to upload tomorrow. Uh, I believe that was the best shooting I've done in a while, actually. So uh, make sure you stay, stay tuned for that tomorrow. It's going to, uh, I'm going to have to come up with some kind of commentary. Not really sure what I'm going to talk about just yet, but we'll figure it out. Uh, the end of this this gameplay is going to be... Uh, uh, this guy right here was a hell of a good shot. Like, this this guy was a really good shot. He was, he was trying to survive his hardest. 
but he he he'll later get pinched. You'll see. But I was just trying to find an angle on this guy. Just trying to find it. Uh, just couldn't couldn't. This guy was really good at positioning himself uh, because uh, I think I think it's already happened. But there's a there's just a sniper rifle just constantly going off right here in the background. And you can hear it off in the distance. And I want to say right as I pulled up next to him just a second ago, uh, I want to say we, we just heard one or two shots go off. And so I was like, uh, as soon as I, I, I thought about challenging him for a second, then I heard, then he laid into me. Then I heard that, uh, that sniper rifle go off and I was like, ah, uh, it's not the, it's not the best idea right here. And I want to think that that sniper the whole time is right over the top of that hill. Like, I didn't know where he was specifically, but I, I knew he was uh, right on the side of that, that hill. And here, right now, what I'm I'm thinking is, okay, the gas is going to have to push this guy out. I know he's behind that rock. Uh, I, I'm thinking maybe I can get some shots on him because he knows he needs to move. And he also knows that sniper's over there, so he's, he's kind of pinched between me and the sniper. So uh, I'm hoping that maybe I can get this guy, get a good angle on him, and, uh, and get some shots off, but I was not hitting anything right here. Uh, it's just with that AK, I'm not sure if it's, I, I just, I don't, I don't want to say it's just with the AK. At, at that range, I'm just not as accurate. I mean, even if they were standing still, I'm, I'm not as accurate there, and that's one thing I need to improve on is that, that long-range gun battle. As man, I swear, it seems like, uh, some of these guys, they it doesn't matter what distance you're at, man, they can two-tap you. And I want to get to the point where that's it doesn't matter if I'm five feet away from you or 500 feet away from you. I want to be able to two-tap you. But this guy right here, I think, okay, yeah, the, what right now we got a, we got three people surviving. One's the sniper. One's that guy we have pinched. And the, the guy who's pinched right now is getting pushed out by the gas. So. We, I, I'm on. I'm trying to make a decision. Do I want to try to uh, force him to me? I think. I, yeah. I think. I. Yeah. I hit some shots on him, and the inevitable happens, uh, as you'll see in the the top left corner shortly. Uh, there it is. Yeah, he dies from the gas, and the final kill here, man. Oh man. Um. Let me just say this this is not my proudest moment. And um I just mm, I I just don't really know how to explain it other than I mean it it was it was ugly. It was real real ugly. And I think what I'm going to do is um uh, probably just going to let you hear uh, my reaction in regards to it, because man, it's <laughs> I was surprised myself. Like this, I know this guy's right here. What's going on through my head right now is I know this guy's up here. I know he's pushing. He pushed up to that rock, and I said, "This is the sniper." It would be dumb as hell for me right now to push this guy through the field. He's got a sniper rifle, so why would I take off running over this hill when he's got the only cover? But Take off to the truck, and I push him in the truck. But uh, yeah, I, I, I just want you to go ahead and hear my reaction to to this kill. Oh, what a lucky! Lucky, lucky kill. Oh my god, what a lucky kill. Oh, I was panicking. Oh, I was panicking so badly. Mm, I, was, I feel sorry for that guy because that was. Oh, my heart. God, I was panicking right there. Let's go! All right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm. 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 Mm.
All right, YouTube, that's all I got for you today. Comment down below and let me know what you thought of that final kill. Like the video, YouTube. If I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.